boy, <laughs> this is by far the best video game movie I have ever seen. Hey, what's up guys, it's Camacho here. Today I wanna to give a little short review on that brand new Uncharted fan short film that just came out. Oh boy, that was good. It's been in the talks with Sony that they've been wanting to make an Uncharted film for almost the past five years, 10 years. I don't know, it's been on for a while that they've been wanting to make an Uncharted film and it hasn't officially happened. Uh, last bit of news I heard about is that they actually cast Tom Holland to play a young Nathan Drake, but I don't know how I feel about that. I don't, I'm not sure. Maybe they can make it work. I'm not sure. But this short film, good gosh, you can tell it was made by a fan for the fans. So the film came out about two, three days ago on July 16th. It was directed by Alan Ungar and it starred Nathan Fillion as Nathan Drake. Oh, this is such the most genius casting ever. I'm pretty sure it was stated by Naughty Dog that Nathan Fillion was actually used as the model to help create the character of nathan drake and and it shows nathan fillion is perfect as nathan drake his whole performance his mannerism his face it truly encapsulates who nathan drake is as a character and the thing that shocks me the most is i didn't know this but nolan north the main voice actor who played nathan drake actually said that if there was ever a live action uncharted film he'd want nathan fillion to play nathan drake okay so let's get to the film so this film was only about 15 minutes long give or take it was a short film independently made and every bit of it just screams uncharted from the opening quotations to drake's voice to him what's i don't know how to explain that i don't know how to explain it but like that feeling when he realizes something ha is happening or he makes a realization to the next clue and he like freaks out and everyone around him has no clue what he's talking about <laughs> it's just fun because every bit of it was note for note how an uncharted game would go him getting captured him breaking out the fight scene was so cool the fight scene every single punch he threw every single technique he had was from the games him themselves like that double punch and the weird leg up drop kick to the dude's head every little bit of it was Nathan Drake it was cool and it was really enjoyable to watch I am hoping I am screaming Sony please let these people make this movie because they truly know what they're doing with the characters and they truly know where to make it go nothing against you Sony but you guys kind of have a crappy track record when it comes to making a film based off a property I don't know what it is with you guys but your movies aren't that good I'm sorry <laughs> I mean Jumanji was good Jumanji was pretty okay was that Sony? I don't remember. I have to look it up. But no, these guys know what they're doing and they show that they care. So please, I beg of you, let them have the rights to make this film. And that way it could actually be considered the best video game film of all time. Let me get into the plot. I didn't even talk about the plot of the movie. So the movie starts out with Nathan Drake captured and he's getting interrogated by these guys who are trying to find a bracelet that Nathan Drake stole. So it turns out that Nathan Drake is actually hunting down a treasure, of course. And the treasure is on a sunken ship and he's trying to find where the ship is or where possibly the treasure is so the movie leads with him actually intentionally getting captured so he can get into the house where the next clue might be which leads him to figuring out the clue and realizing the next next location where he needs to go and that's what i love about this short film is that it ends with the possibility of a sequel and that means there could be another chance for a sequel to happen maybe a web series or something something that could show that the next part of the story is coming i don't know it opens up for a lot of possibilities and i really 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 like it and i hope that they really do do something with it because if they don't it's really wasted it's really really wasted opportunity and i'd be really disappointed it would suck but no i really enjoyed it i really enjoyed the short film i've seen it twice three times now give or take and i just really enjoy just watching it nathan fillion's performance as nathan drake everything screams uncharted oh crap i totally forgot to talk about that part but there's this part where he jumps out a window when he lands on the floor the camera actually pans behind him and the bars like you know how when you're watching a movie like in widescreen or something you can see like the black bars on the top and bottom that's like the movie aspect ratio i don't know what the aspect ratio of it is but you actually see the black bars extending up as if a video game cutscene just ended and the camera's following him as if it was a video game. And it was so cool to see that. And it shows, 
I don't know. They, they didn't have a big budget. You could tell they didn't. But they, they did. They worked with what they had. And it was really cool to see that. But anyway, guys, that was my opinions on this Uncharted film. I hope they do more with it. I really, really hope. But it was really cool to see all of this happen and all of it go down. But anyway, guys, I hope you guys take care. I hope you guys have a really, really good day. Really, really good night. Really, really good whatever time you're watching this. Hope you guys take care. And I just popped my finger. <laughs> I hope you guys take care. This is Camacho signing off.